Hey everybody, it's Jasmine and today's video is a little bit of an extension of a previous video that I filmed maybe a month ago. I filmed a video where I talked about all of my favorite drugstore skincare, makeup, and hair care. And I wanted to film this video featuring some of the products that I mentioned in that video and I wanted to show you guys how I created this look here. So if you're interested in seeing how I do my drugstore skincare morning routine and this tutorial for this look, then please go ahead and keep on watching. Everything in this video, including the skincare, is going to be cruelty free because as you guys know, I like to keep all of my drugstore purchases cruelty free. So let's actually go ahead and start with some serums. Now I'm gonna be opening this one for the first time. This one is by OK. It is their Chuck Chuck Illuminating Serum with B3 and Hyaluronic Acid. This is more of like a thick gel formula, so I know that this is gonna be extra nourishing on the skin. No scent. Perfect for those who are allergic to scents. And don't forget that neck and jaw, because that's important too. I think upon first impressions, this definitely feels more luxe. Like it definitely goes really deep down into the skin and it just makes the skin just look more plump, vibrant, and has like this slight luminosity to the skin love that so now we're gonna follow that up with one of my favorite serums from the drugstore which is by derma e this one is the advanced peptides and collagen serum this is perfect for preventing any fine lines and wrinkles especially if you're in your 20s like me I really love this serum and all of the other Derma E serums because they are so lightweight, but they pack in such a punch of moisture, which I feel like a lot of other drugstore serums don't really do. I feel like for the most part, the ones that I have tried, they usually just sit on top of the skin. And although you do look luminous, it doesn't feel like you are hydrated, but with this, it definitely gives you that all day moisture. I'm gonna try something new for the eye cream. This one is by Derma E. It's their anti-wrinkle eye cream. Normally, I would use my Yes to Blueberries eye cream. However, that one is just so hard to find that I just wanna try something new. Maybe this one will replace it. Who knows? I don't know. You guys have told me that the Yes to Blueberries eye cream is only available at CVS, and at CVS, it's $22, which is actually so absurd i don't like that i don't like that price point not for yes too no ma'am this eye cream has a very similar texture to the okay serum this one here where it's more of like a thick gel this one is definitely not a cream like the yes Two one but it does feel nice and hydrating. I need to use it a lot more because this is my first time using it. Um, however, I don't feel any stinging. I don't feel any sensitivity. This just feels nice and nourishing. This moisturizer here takes the cake for my favorite drugstore moisturizer. This is the Pacifica Coconut Probiotic Water Rehab Cream. I've gone through so many bottles of this. I've taken, I think, a year break from this because I've been trying to use up the rest of the moisturizers in my collection. So we're back on track with this one now. I'm really excited. A little goes a very long way with this moisturizer. And this is honestly perfect for all skin types, especially if your skin suffers from stress, lack of sleep, pollution, it just will revive the skin. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my drugstore sunscreens. Normally, I would recommend you the Sunbum Face Sunscreen. However, I just don't have that right now. And as a matter of fact, I have one too many sunscreens in my collection. So I'm gonna use the cheapest one that I own, which is by Shiseido. It's their Senka SPF 50. This one is fairly inexpensive. This, I believe, is only around like $12, $13. So still pretty affordable. This sunscreen is one of my personal favorites because it has this nice moisturizing feeling. It does not smell like sunscreen, which is amazing. I love Shiseido for that. And it also has an anti-aging factor in it. So if you are somebody who just wants to prevent your skin from any fine lines or wrinkles, then this is definitely one to look into. And that is my quick morning drugstore skincare routine. I love the way my skin looks. I love this type of dew. It's just 
nice it's nice fresh youthful um, normally I do use vitamin C in my skincare routine however I like to reserve that for the nighttime so in some of my skincare routines you will see me pop in some vitamin C serums I only reserve it for the nighttime because it is susceptible to sunlight. So normally what vitamin C does, it helps just diminish those dark spots caused by acne scars or from sun damage. So to prevent any additional sun damage, I just wait until later in the day. To start off my makeup, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my NYX Pore Filler Primer. I like to focus this on the areas where my pores are the most visible, so that's going to be in the center of my face. If you guys are new to my channel, I always describe this primer as a dupe to the Benefit Pore Fashional. This is literally like the exact same thing, but just at a cheaper price point. I do love this stuff so much, I've gone through... Um, two mini bottles and then this full size one is like almost halfway done. So I do use this quite often. I love the way my skin looks with this. I feel like my skin just has like this nice airbrush look. However, I feel like this can be a little drying sometimes. So that's the reason why I add in a little bit of extra moisturizer or serum to my skincare routine whenever I know that I will be using this. To accompany the NYX primer, we're gonna also use the NYX foundation. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. I have the shade True Beige. This is a perfect yellow tone foundation. I really love this because it definitely does stay on the skin for 24 hours. Like it is literally bulletproof. I think this is the longest lasting foundation I have in my collection. A little goes a long way. So if you add a little too much, you can start creasing and it's going to be like your typical full coverage, like Kat Von D type foundation where if you add too much, it's you're in the trouble zone, but if you add just the right amount or if you build up, then your makeup will be flawless, full coverage, and foolproof throughout the whole day. In general, this is one of my favorite concealers. This is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage Concealer in the shade Light Beige. I actually can fluctuate between a couple of different shades, but I always gravitate back towards Light Beige. I feel like it's one of the best. This concealer is the most lightweight concealer. It does have a fragrance, so that may be off-putting for some people. However, the fragrance doesn't last on the skin. I love the coverage of this because it's literally medium to buildable while still being so lightweight and and you don't feel it on the skin. It barely creases. It's honestly the most affordable concealer on the market and it works the best. I'm gonna wait a minute or two for this concealer to set a little bit before I blend it out just so I could get maximum coverage without building up too much. How are you? How's everything? How's your day today? Today is Sunday for me right now. Um, it's one in the afternoon and honestly, I have been feeling really good lately. I have started antidepressants and I am currently on like reaching week three and I feel really amazing. Um, so I'm really happy about it. I was so nervous to even start it because I thought I was gonna be heavily dependent on it. However, I feel like it's been a great asset to my life because it's actually helping me get motivated to do things again and that's just like what I needed and it's honestly been really helpful, especially during this time, especially when, you know, you're unemployed, you're done with school and you literally have nothing really to do so um yeah i just thought i'd share that with you guys because i know a lot of you have been asking how i'm doing um and i wanted to let you guys know that i am good i'm yeah just blossoming <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this out i always start on my chin for some reason i don't know why it's just where i like to go and then usually i'll go like either my under eyes or my forehead, but I want to finish my forehead because, I don't know, I don't really spend a whole bunch of time there anyway because they get covered with my bangs. And then right in this under eye area, look at how flawless and how full coverage this base looks. Honestly, the best. 
Although I like my face having this really beautiful dew, I also want to maintain some areas and keep it as smooth as possible throughout the entire day. So I'm gonna use one of my Project Pan items. This is not my favorite, let's be honest, um, but it is something that I am trying to use up by the end of the year. This is the Make It Revolution Bacon Blot in the shade Banana. And as you see, I have used quite a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and really swirl my brush in here because everything is in the perimeter of the pan. And then with my Real Her I Achieve Goals brush, I'm going to go right into the areas that I applied my concealer just so that it cannot crease. It barely creases in general, but you know, just making sure that it's creaseless. Just, yeah. And then we're going to lightly set the forehead because sometimes our bangs can, you know, move around and then shift everything that we have on the forehead. So that is all I really do with my powders. I can, you know, set my entire face, but I still want to keep that luminosity in the cheek area. And because we're going to go in with the powder blush, bronzer, and highlight, that area is going to be powdered up anyway with those products. We're gonna go ahead and fill in the brows with the Profusion Brow Pencil. I have the shade Dark Brown, and I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly fill them in. I'm not gonna do anything like too crazy because we're gonna do like a really bold eye. Hopefully my vision for today's look can be executed well. I wanna do like this crazy teal type of vibe. I don't know, I haven't done teal in a while, so I think that would be kind of fun, especially for summer. This brow pencil isn't my absolute favorite, but it is the only drugstore brow pencil or product that I even own right now. I've used up a lot of my other drugstore items, so I'm just working with what I have. I am kind of on like a no buy right now because I have one too many items, honestly. Like I feel like I need to use up one more brow product. I need to use up some more lip liners and eyeliner. Um, more mascaras. I just have too many things in my collection. And I know a lot of you guys have been telling me you guys are also on no buys, which I think is amazing. How is that going? Have you caved into anything? Have any launches have been, you know, piquing your interest? Honestly, no launches have been piquing any of my interest. Um, I just think everything right now looks cool, looks innovative. However, nothing is really making me reach for my wallet. We're not quite done with the brows. We're gonna do a little bit of brow powder. This is by Wet n Wild. This is their ultimate brow kit in the shade Ash Brown. I usually take the lighter brown shade and I will just do upward stroke into my brows just to give it a more realistic appearance. So I want to actually use two different palettes today. I want to use the Bretman Rock and Wet n Wild Jungle Rock palette as well as the Emily and Revolution The Wants palette. These two have a beautiful pop of color as well as some beautiful neutral shades. To start off this look, we're going to take the cream in the Emily palette and we're going to set our eyelids so that there is no creasing. In the Bretman Rock palette, we're gonna go straight into Venomous and we're gonna go right into our orbital bone right here. And we are gonna go back and forth because this is gonna be our main color focus. Just go back and forth from inner corner to outer corner and it should end up looking like this. Pretty simple, pretty easy, nothing crazy. We haven't blended yet. Um, this is just an easy way to find the direct crease and to build up from there. And by the way, the brush that I'm using is my Kaleidos S1 brush. And this is just your typical big fluffy blending brush that I'm going to be using for my crease. Using the same brush, we're gonna take Anaconda, which is a lighter teal. I coated my entire brush all the way around and I'm gonna tap off a little excess. And with a light hand holding the brush at the end, we are gonna look down into our mirror and then just blend the edge of Venomous. And this is gonna act as our transition shade because we didn't do that first. So just back and forth, no circular motions, just this windshield wiper motion. We're switching into a smaller brush. This is the Kaleidos S2, same shape, just smaller. And we're gonna take the shade Corduroy from the Emily palette. And we're gonna do the same trick where we go right into our socket and go back and forth. And this is going to really deepen up the crease. 
So now you could definitely see the difference that made. It just added a lot more depth and just mysteriousness to the eye look as opposed to something like this. This is still really nice. However, this is the vibe that I'm going for. We're switching back over to S1, which is our initial brush. We're gonna take a little bit of Venomous and we're gonna do a light dusting right on top of corduroy and this is just going to help blend in everything one more time i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how i do my really lazy and fast halo eye with my finger i have big peacock energy and i'm applying this all over the eyelid from inner corner to outer corner just like that then on a different finger i'm taking grateful from the emily palette and applying this right into the center. And there you have it, a quick halo eye. It's really that simple. Um, <laughs> I have no rhyme or reason like why I decided to do this, but honestly, if you are lazy or if you're just in a rush and someone's like, you need to get out the house now, this is honestly perfect. Like it's literally foolproof. We're gonna use this beautiful light minty shade from LA Girl. This is their Shockwave liner in the shade Fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this right into my waterline to give my eyes this nice, fresh, opened, awake look. We're gonna use this small little pencil brush, which is also by Kaleidos. It's their S5. I'm gonna look up into the mirror and right where my lashes grow, I'm applying Venomous right there. So right underneath where we applied the eyeliner, just so there is a color difference. And then we're gonna take a touch of corduroy and really focus this towards the outer corner. And this is honestly just to connect the top and bottom together so it flows a little bit better. And then in the inner corners to brighten everything up, I'm gonna take the shade Oh Heavens from the Emily palette. This is a beautiful shimmery white and it's just going to just liven everything up a little. I'm also going to add this right into the center of the halo eye while we're here, while we still have the brush. And look at that effect. It just adds more of a highlighted look and just adds a little bit more attention to the eyes. Right now I'm using the Pro Fusion Wing It Super Precise Liner and I'm gonna do a really small wing. Today, I don't feel like wearing lashes, so we're gonna go ahead and curl and add mascara. I'm using my Shiseido Curler because, quite frankly, this is the only one I own. So we are gonna use what we have. I really like this one because it really just clamps all of my lashes from the inner corner to the outer corner effortlessly. I completely ran out of my Essence Lash Princess, so we're gonna use another Pro Fusion product. This is their Lash Out Loud Mascara. So as I mentioned in the video where I did my first impressions of Pro Fusion makeup, I did say that this was a dry formula and honestly, I feel like it works a little bit better through use. It is still really dry. However, I feel like it clumps up these lashes in a way where it does look full. It does have a nice length and volume to it. However, I don't think it holds the curl as well as a lot of other mascaras that I have tried, um, but it is still pretty good, especially for the price. Look, you could actually see my lashes. Nice. I genuinely spend more time trying to build up my mascara than to just apply lashes, but honestly, I'm trying to get used to my natural lashes and to appreciate them more for what they are. So for my bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and apply one of my favorite bronzers on the market. This is the e.l.f. bronzer palette in the shade Bronze Beauty. I go ahead and usually just mix all of these shades. I feel like it's the perfect satin finish for my skin. And to apply this, I'm using my Elysium Yori brush, which is one of my my absolute favorites because it's dense but also really helps buff in the bronzer into the skin. For a blush we're not going to do anything too loud so we're going to do the Catrice Strobing Blush in the shade Miss Amber Brown and we're also going to use that with the Real Her Be The Change brush. This is just your normal angled face brush and I'm going to go ahead and apply this starting from the apples of my cheek working all the way back towards the temples. And then for my highlight, I'm using my CoverGirl True Blend Highlight in the shade Pearl Crush, and I'm using a random Wet n Wild brush for this. 
It is so blinding. Your skin literally looks so wet. It's so finely milled. And I feel like although there are not a lot of shades in this highlighter collection, it's still really nice and pretty. We're gonna finish off this look with a nude lip. This is by CoverGirl and it is their major shade liquid lipstick in the shade Cakewalk. I don't know if this is still available. Some of you guys have told me that this is discontinued. So if it is, I'm sorry, but it's one of my favorite drugstore nudes. And just like that, you guys, we are completed with today's video. Hope you guys all enjoyed. I tried to do something different with my hair where I did like more of like a wand curl as opposed to like a twist curl and I don't think I like it, but that's fine. It's all trial and error here. So I hope you guys all enjoyed today's tutorial. Let me know what your favorite drugstore product is down below. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell to get notified of my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday uploads. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I love you guys so much. Peace out, Girl Scouts.